Hello, time for some Go Battle League. I got Grudon up against Mel Metal Amazing Elite. Superpower Peony gonna bring in the Lugia against the Dragonite. This is exactly the type of matchup I want Lugia to have. Gonna throw the Sky Attack and Undercharge. Gonna be gaining a lot of energy. Because, um, I mean, I don't want no Metal to just be in a decent matchup against my Lugia. Undercharge could have, could have gained, uh, could have held on to that health, but it's fine. And I tapped, like, an extra bubble against, uh, Dragonite, but it's fine. I got the alignment I want again. Still gonna be going for the No Shield. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. this uh, Machamp is in a bad position. Oh, they let it go. It's fine. I got a charge beam. Zekrom, something spicy I wanted to try out. Totally didn't accidentally go in the battle forgetting I had a charge beam on it. Definitely not. Definitely not that. But this video, I do use it the whole time, so... Let's see how it is. Getting a win from the start, nice. And now, another amazing lead up against Metagross with the Groudon. Ooh, perfect. I want to see this Gyarados charge beam. Doing some nice damage. I'm not sure if Dragon Breath would be more, but I have charge beam and it's doing real nice. Gonna shield up and then get the farm down. Save the move for what's in the back. And it's the uh, Medigro sets back. Fusion Bolt's gonna do some good damage while wow, bringing it under half health. Another one to get the shield. And they bring in the Dragonite, which as you already seen this video, it gets walled by the Lugia. Okay, on to the next battle. Let's see what this team does. It's getting a third amazing lead in, in a row. And I am going to throw the Precipice Blades. And I get the knockout. Oh my gosh, Mel Metal. This is not good for them. Gonna let go of that superpower and do they expect me to throw the precipice blades? Boom! They did not. Well, pretty much a ground on sweep. In that time, they finally shield. Another precipice blades, not gonna stop throwing it. And finally, they, they shield up. Now I'm forced to throw a fire punch unless I want the energy to go to waste. But I'm going to bring in the charge beam. Zekrom. And one fusion bolt is all I need to get the knockout and take the win. Nice. Does the luck keep going? Okay. This is more reasonable for my opponent. They get to the avalanche first. That's that's annoying, but so be it. Oh, I'm happy they swapped. Because now I can line up my Lugia up against this Giratina. I can Dragon Tail. Now they are still in a decent position. But my fast move is doing some real good damage. But I have some good energy, so I'm going to be throwing some Sky Attacks, which I really need to do some good chip damage. And the second one... Is it gonna land? Is it gonna get their shield? It gets a shield. And now, gonna throw the fire punch. Is this enough? Nope. And let it go. Because I got no shield. Now let's see what they bring in. Okay, yay. Thankfully they chose a arrow swine. That gets one shot. Oh my gosh, let's go. And I get the win. Okay, Mammoth Swine. Let's see if I can keep this roll going. 
Can I just win, 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 win? They stay in. But are they going to uh, shield up? They do not. Let's go. Oh, Gujwa. That's pretty cool to see. Going to bring in the Lugia. Scaring them into the Metagross. Going to throw the Aeroblast because they're not going to shield a Sky Attack. Unless they expect me to throw the Aeroblast because... Nope. They just let it go. Let it go. And... Going to throw Sky Attack for some chip damage. They know it's Sky Attack. They should know. Oh, they barely survive. That's fine. Because they have Gudra back. And I have Zekrom, some energy on Zekrom. Going to go for the Outrage. Do they expect it? No, they do not. They're out. Let's go. I'm very tempted to build a Gujra now after that battle. I really want to do it. Okay, but let's continue with this video. Let me know if you like to if you would like me to build a Gujra. Okay. Xerneas, definitely where I want to see my Pokemon up against and I catch the Moonblast and they bring in a Zerud. Interesting. I guess it's because the dark moves but Sky Attack's going to do some nice damage. Going to be super effective. I mean, yeah, this is definitely the Pokemon I want to use against Zerud. Having it locked on against my uh, oh, no, Groudon would be awful. They're going to throw to take me out before I take them out. Zekrom comes in to get some energy. He gets some nice energy. Going to throw the Outrage. Thankfully, I have this move. Kadoosh. That's some big damage. I get the farm down and now Precipice Blades for the win. Those Wamba combos. Okay, let's see what is up next. We have a Mewtwo. Okay, Shadow Mewtwo. That's a pretty pretty strong Pokemon, I should know. And I catch a Side Strike, which is going to be pretty important in this battle. Okay, they choose to bring in Shadow Garchomp to save the Side Strike for the Groudon. But this is such a good matchup for me still. Shadow Garchomp taking so much more damage and shielding up the Outrage. I get the farm down. I have two Sky Attacks ready. And they have ho -Oh. Well, ho -Oh, um is going to have to deal with the Zekrom. And I'm going to shield because I'm about to have the energy to land a move on this Mewtwo. That they just brought in. Gonna get a couple extra charge beams in to get ready for the ho -Oh because I'm gonna need it. And this fusion bolt is gonna be devastating. Boom! Let's go! Woohoo! Okay, let's see what is up next. We have an Excadrill. And this team is just getting all the luck. Totally not me just cherry picking the good battles. Now, Precipice Blades. Do they expect me to bait? Nope. They shield just in case. Well, I actually did throw it, so smart. Gonna bait this time because they're under half health. And I get a shield, and I'm gonna throw another one in a row. They shouldn't expect it to be drill one. I mean, festive split blades, but it's enough to knock out. And a Swampert. Okay, Swampert. A Hydro Cannon and take me out, but I'm going to have Lugia to come in and just absorb all these Hydro Cannons. Because my Electric Fast and, yep, yeah, Electric Fast, Electric Fast Move Pokemon is not going to want to see this ground type. Aeroblast gets a KO. Their final Pokemon is 
Togekiss Fusion Bolt is going to take them out. Now a couple battles left. Let's see. Hexus. Okay, Breaking Swipe. This is a pretty neutral lead. Although, I'm de I'm d I think I'm definitely favored. One shield and all. Oh, man. Yeah, one shield. They're going to have the shield advantage, but Master League, that's... Oh, I don't shield. I could have thrown the precipice blades, but I throw the fire punch. Oh, my gosh. Well, time to bring in Lugia. And time to bring in Zekrom up against the Mewtwo. The best Pokemon this Zekrom will be up against. We'll have to deal with. And I lose a CMP tie up against the Mewtwo. Now this is kind of tricky. At this point, I'm going to be forced to shield and I can only get to one more move. I, They're definitely going to be able to get some good energy. But also, Shadow Ball is not going to be enough to take my Lugia. Oh, they bring in... Use energy, let's go. This could be good, it could be bad. It's only enough energy for a fire punch. Could I lose fire punch? Tricky scenario here it is. I need some good energy. I need like at least a couple moves. Fire punch. And now I'm gonna throw the sky attack on the charge. Because I'm going to need the energy. But I just throw the sky tech. Is this going to be enough? Can I get the farm down? Yes, I can. Let's go. Lugia takes that win. It is now beast. And now, Dioga is terrified. They bring in Garchomp, which gets walled by my Lugia. And I call her Santum. Big Brain plays expecting oh outrage okay that does land well that energy the, the pretty energy dry and now the out my my defense is lowered so that's why I'm just gonna go for the air blast the nuke and it lands let's go they're gonna have some good energy but ground and scares them into Right on. But Zekrom wants to see that Dialga. It does not want to see Groudon in the slightest. I'm going to go for back to back precipice plates. Are they going to expect? They expected the bait, and here comes Zekrom. If it was Dragon Breath, they could be fine. I shield up the precipice plates because I'm going to need some energy. And if this is a precipice plates, which it is. My my growling comes in. Is it going to get nuked? Okay, oh well. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.